Hey there! How are you doing today? I am going to try to make a necklace um, if my cats <laughs> will behave. Uh, it's like anytime I start a video they're all like, what are you doing Rebecca? What's going on? Let's play with the stuff you're playing with. Let's get into it. Okay, so I got some this looks like a, I don't know what that is on there. I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, so I have <clears throat> some beads here. I I didn't, I didn't grab as many as I should, but that's okay. I am got some flex right 49 strand most most flexible uh, beadsmith beading wire to make a necklace so I'm going I'm gonna oh my cat is being my cat there's more than one cat <laughs> alright I'm gonna wrap this around my neck to measure how long I want it but of course I'm gonna have extra wire to work with. You always want to cut more than the actual length of what your necklace, bracelet, anklet, whatever. You always want to have more of that when you're working with beading wire. And it's not not just this beading wire, but just like any beading wire. You always need extra so you can work the ends in and crimp them and tighten things up and all that good stuff. Alright, so... Let's, I don't know if I want to use the silver. Do I want to use brass? I'm, I'm just itching to use a silver chain, but now I'm not so sure it looks, I don't know. Like looking at it on the camera, you kind of get a different feel for what is going on with it. Let's see if I can untie this without having to clip it. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I, I don't know. Am I going to do that? There, I think I got it for the most part. Okay. I need to find my all, A-W-L, all, 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 all. <laughs> so, all right, so here's some crystal beads. Um, thinking about incorporating a little bit of color of Let's see, do I have enough? I think I do. Cool, I love these freebie bags that you get from beading vendors because you never know what kind of colors, patterns, styles you're going to get in a mixed freebie bag. And there's been so many times that a mixed freebie bag has really helped me out in a tight spot for making jewelry and I love them. I just love beading bags that are free. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to string on about six crystals. I wish this was a little thicker. I had a little more weight behind the beading wire. But so far, so good. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, so we'll string on 
some of these jasper beads I don't know what they are they look like a jasper and everything is like jasper cords or you know it's just it's all that same samey stuff that I need to learn more about I wanted to be a geologist in high school I was like really like aiming for that oh come on fit through there there we go um but like the school counselor was like you're never gonna make any money you're never gonna be happy and it's just like okay <laughs> um okay I guess I don't want to be a geologist but now I want to be a geologist <laughs> But it'd be fun. Oh my goodness, let's see. Uh, I don't know what this looks like. I don't know. It's a little different than what I usually do. Come on, get through there. You can do it. There we go. Yeah, I like that teal. That teal adds a nice surprise of color. Okay, what do you think of that? Does that, how's that suit you? Is that too chunky? I don't know. Cat's going bananas behind me. <laughs> I think I say that every video. I should just stop mentioning it because like I don't know well if a new person comes along and is like what is that weird sound in the background it's like well it's my cat losing her mind <laughs> I don't think I like the silver with this at this point it's too it's too brown and too on the verge of red and golden I'm thinking I think I'm going to I'm going to see if I can find this in brass. Let's see. Yeah, I like this better. This this definitely blends way better with the beads. Okay. So let's all right. Let's grab a bead stopper. side of the beads. Um, all right, I think we'll use some of this red jasper from Sam's Bead Box. He had an, oh my gosh, Sam's Bead Box for May was spectacular. There were like 23 items. Um, it's like check glass, uh, gemstones, some metal filigree, I'm probably missing something I, that he had in there. Oh my gosh. I don't know how he does it, but it's amazing. It. Oh, I'm so glad I joined because, like, you, you get so much. And it's not like some bead boxes out there where you get one or two pieces. You get, like, a full strand of beads with Sam's Bead Box. You, you can actually, like, create... A full like piece uh, like a jewelry set you could do a bracelet a necklace earring set because you get like a strand um so <laughs> yeah I'm, uh, I'm really happy with Sam's bead box what do you think about that that looks good I think I think that red brings in the red from here in the shell and the kind of a red oranginess and the crystals here um, 
I am wondering... Hmm. I kind of want something different. I don't know. Do I... Uh, hmm. <laughs> There's so many ideas going through my head. I kind of want... Do I have like a... I know yeah, Donna gave me some really good beads that have angles on them. These beads here, these oblong beads used to wire wrap. They make great components, wood. Um, look at that. Look at the, those kind of fit the shape of this here. I like that. I Donna, thank you. You saved my necklace. <laughs> Oh, you're so awesome, Donna. Everybody's out there. You know, you're all awesome. You're all you're all spectacular. And I'm, I'm kind of talking louder than normal because I um got I took the day off from my full-time job and I have the house to myself. I have the house to myself. I'm watching all the beady videos I want to. I'm, I watched Thunder Horse Descendant online. I talked to Rebecca. Um, I don't want to give her last name because she has a different name on YouTube. I, I've just been having a blast today, and oh my goodness, I'm these beads that these are perfect. I think this is going to be absolutely perfect. Oh yeah, look at that. And then maybe if we did. Red fossil bead. Red wood bead. <laughs> There's a cat making sounds again. Oh, that might actually be a little too long if I want to add chain. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not I'm not too happy with this white one. This it's not really white, it's a cream. But it it's coming out because this like is such a deeper color. This is coming off as too bright. So I don't think I I don't think I wanna use Those fossil beads. Okay, yeah, that's much better. That has like a more neutral, warm tone. Can you hear that cat? She's making the craziest sounds. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. She's losing her mind and she, she it's hilarious. Alright. Okay, so I'm gonna put bead stopper on this side. Sorry, so this is our necklace so far. I need to get a beading, um, board. I used to have one and then it got destroyed and I never bought one and I, I've just been kind of limping along with just estimating in my head what links are and it does, it's like I've been doing this for a little while but it's funny how like length and all that can okay I'll just put that there I'll put okay what do we think of that one? what do we think what do we think about that do you like that do you think that's okay it's really simple. It's just stringing. There's no fancy maneuvers. It's just beads on a string, um, which is beautiful. Um, it's not necessarily technically 
challenging, but I like that. I, um, I think I might go with that. I think, what do you think this, let's see what this chain looks like. kind of like that it looks like this this chain looks earthy and organic like vertebrae or snake spines or or snake skeleton snakes just have spines it's <laughs> not like they have arms <laughs> yeah I'm sorry sometimes I say things and I'm like oh my goodness that was really dumb why did I say it <laughs> That'd be so funny. Oh, I bet snakes would be happy if they could have arms. They they get into far more trouble, I bet. Okay, I think I'm going to... Man, Donna, these beads really came in handy because they are like the perfect size. And, oh wow, Donna, thank you. <laughs> All right, so let's put on let's see let's let's grab some wire guardians to use with this. And where's my scooper? There's the scooper. Everybody needs a scooper. You guys out there, if you do not have one of these scoopers, you got to get one. I got this one from my local bead store. Um, it's made in India. It is, it is amazing. A little scooper to get in the little trays and tweezers to pick up little pieces or even big pieces if your hands just aren't, you know, cooperating. Um, do it. Get those. I say get them. They're great. Um, oh, shoot. <laughs> I just realized I don't have any crimps up here. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Where are my crimps? Um. Okay, found them. Luckily, I often store things in relatively similar spaces. I mean, well, as of now, I'm I'm starting to get better about being organized. <clears throat> All right. So we want to put. I'll put crimp crimp on the wire and then we want to put a wire guardian on This this 49 strand is just so supple. It just like it it just like uh goes right through my fingers so quickly. It's I'm not used to it like like if the 49 strand compared to the 7 strand is just so radically different. They're they're all great. But when you're when you get a nice wire like this you can totally tell the difference between 7 strand and 49 strand okay so I'm going to get my crimper Good. Do the elbow and then do front. 
And then I always do a little extra pinch. Not a whole bunch, which is a little tight. Pinch. Okay, let's see if these beads will go over this wire. I like doing that. I know people have different opinions. I I, I kind of, like, I think about it like this. Like, there's just this tiny little piece of metal that is, like, two millimeters that's holding all this on. And so I figure if I have a little extra room, maybe I might have a chance to catch it as it's breaking and catch it. Because I've... That has actually happened to me before. So I I just, I give myself a tell to do these beads. I hear cats being up to no good. Oh, you know what I should do? While well, I'm thinking about it right here is do a bead crimp cover. Okay, there we go. There's, And then, where's my scoop? There's my scoop. I have to tell everybody, get a scoop! So you just scoop, you just scoop up your bead cover, crimp covers, and pour them back into the bag. And it's so simple. I love it. Now i got to separate these. Oh, I don't know if they're coming apart. There we go. All right. So let's put a crimp cover on this. And then I'm going to use the rounded part of my Crimp pliers to help smush that down. That's not the best. Oh no. I'm making it worse, I think. <laughs> oh, I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, so let's put this red jasper over the tail, this wood bead with a beautiful finish on it. is being a little difficult but we'll work with it there we go oh I love that I love that okay I know I made it and it sounds <laughs> weird to be like I love what I made but I actually like it um I, that was a nice feeling okay so what do I want to do do I want to get one of these class? I like I like big class because they're easier to handle than little tiny clasps in your hand and you're like fidgeting around trying to get it. But do you see that? What do you think of that? What do you I got like I got a crimp? A wire guard. I got a crimp cover. What do you, what do you think of that? Do you think that looks pretty earthy and organic? Oh, I need to get. I, I like it. I wasn't sure I was going to make something I like today. I was like, I'm just going to make something. I'm just going to like throw some beads out and play with what I have on my desk and see how it works. And I'm pretty happy. I just need to figure out the length. Okay. I've got two.
too much wire for my necklace. Okay. Um, I'm gonna cut it off here. There we go. stop my camera is about to turn off because the 29 minute whatever rule thing I've mentioned it before it's goofy uh, one second back again <laughs> uh, let's see those I want a bigger I want a bigger chunkier heavier gauge um, so I'm gonna look in this bag of chain links and jump rings it's just leftover scraps Maybe that will work? I think that might work. Oh, the bag is breaking. This bag has lasted me for so long and now it's breaking. <laughs> it's like, you have like these bags of stuff and they just finally, they give up on you and it's sad. Poor sad little things. Oh! oh. I do need a jump ring. <laughs> I'm gonna, I think I might double jump ring it. All right, so I want to open my jump ring. Put on my chain, put on my clasp. Slide close the jump ring. Actually, that I think you only need one jump ring. I don't need two. I don't know what I'm doing with my necklaces that I think I need <laughs> several jump rings. Cool. All right. Awesome. So on this side, we don't have any space but we also need a little bit of looseness so these really long beads have enough room to turn move around and be supple on the neck and not stiff and scratchy all right so then we'll put on oops oopsie doopsie Um, all right, so here is, oh, there's a, mm, I'm not using that jump ring. It has like something wrong with it. Yeah. If you see a jump ring like that, that is got a tag or there's some metal pieces like inside of it or don't jump ring crimp. If you find a crimp that has like a little metal tag or pieces and interfering in the center of it. Don't use that jump. Don't use that crimp bead because it'll tear up your wire. Okay, so I'm going to place my crimp bead on here. I'm going to close this chain link. 
because that's where we're going to get a grip on our necklace and contain it all together. So you put on a wire guardian, go back through the other side. And then capture this chain link in the Guardian. Okay. Never saw, I was like, where's my... Okay. So let's see if we can get this to go back through. There we go. Get it go back through these couple beads. Okay. And then we'll do our crimp. The back part first. And then to the front. Don't want to break it. Trying to get a little tight in there. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna. You see this wire here? This much beading wire. I'm gonna save that because I can use it for earrings. I can use it as like a homemade beading needle. I save. I save my wires that are long enough because beading wire is not cheap. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed that. All right, so let's put on. Sorry, my bracelet's making a noise on the tripod. Let's put on. I get this more rounded than the other one I did. It helps if you use the bigger crimper than this little crimper. That little round oval in the front really gets gets you a nice shape. All right. Let's see if I can get this chain. So I did something. <laughs> I made a pair of earrings today, and I made a necklace. Think of that. It's a little, it's just, it's really simple. <laughs> I like it though. Um, I need to be able to take a better picture of it. But this is what I made for today. This is Friday, May 28th, 2021. I keep getting the hiccups and I'm trying not to hiccup on <laughs> on the video. Oh my goodness, it's really hard to like <laughs> hold it back. Anyways, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Um also I have a Facebook group called Diani Adorn Beads. My, uh, the same, you know, name as this channel. Um please join. I'm going to put the link in the Facebook for the Facebook uh group in the description below. Uh it's an easier way to Contact people, interact with people, share what you're doing, see what other people are doing, share memes, uh, just talk about life, uh, share other video con content creators that are doing tutorials or other like bead shops that are doing sales or live videos or live sales. Like it's all about that. Like whatever. There's there's a few people there. It's new, so it's not like bumping like some pages. But it's new, it's growing, it'll be there, and I would love to meet you. I would love to see what you're working on. Um, that'd be amazing. 
Uh, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Eventually, I'll get like a new thing for this. Like I tried ironing it and that iron didn't get this out. <laughs> I don't, and it's like a... Oh, I can't, but I can't pick up. It's, it's a piece of fabric, so it's got frayed edges, and I, I, I need to sew it or something. I just need to do a thing. Anyways, I hope you're having an awesome May, and I hope Memorial Day is special, and you get to hang out with family and friends, and you get to be with each other for the first time in a long time. So enjoy yourselves. Enjoy your Memorial Day. It's my birthday this weekend. Do, 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 do. That just means I'm getting older. But that's okay, because not everybody gets to do that, and we should be happy about it. So, anyways, thank you for hanging out. Stay cool. Don't drool. Stay in school. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye-bye. Love you. Love you a lot.